Hi Cancer, how are you? If you knew how welcome, my name is Michelle and today we're going with your reading. Before I start, I want to remind you that my readings have no date. They are divinely guided, everything has free will, not everything is going to resonate with everybody. Please keep in mind that the roles could be in the reverse and with this said, let's move forward my loves. Let's see what the universe has for you. Um... Keep in mind that these are for your entertainment purposes only and everything that I mention is general. Feel free general. Feel free to take or leave whatever you want today. Guys, I had such a rough day. Things did not work out how I expected. But we are trying our best here to give you the readings you guys deserve because I love you. Okie doke. So we have right away a lot of um fire. We got Leo Sagittarius Aries and we do have a very strong um earth sign. I will say it's either or Virgo or Capricorn. As of right now, I also see um Libra Gemini Aquarius as well. But either way, I do see as well that you need to start um being more upfront. And I wouldn't say being mean, but you need to start standing up for yourself. I just see somebody who I don't know treats you poorly for no freaking reason and i feel like you don't understand that either but at the same time you may continue to get their attention or validation um it's time for you to walk away because this person is going to eventually tell you something very hurtful um i do see as well that there is somebody that happens to be an air sign also popping back into your life in a way shape or form i mean this doesn't have to be in love and anything but i do see them reconnecting with you in a way shape or form now with this said at the same time you're doing this i feel like lack of direction in your life and it's like you may not be necessarily carrying a lot of weight when it comes to worries and stress because again i feel like you could carry a normal amount of of weight when it comes to worries and, and, and anxious but i do feel as well that you are going to find that this person that you're going to that you're trying to get the attention to is going to get engaged with their current partner so be ready for those news okay now your world is going to feel like you may be upside down but it's not really this is an opportunity this is just a new beginning this is new good news even though that it may not seem like that because you are going to be freed from this connection that does not pay off now i do feel that that um when it comes to money there's more to do here i feel like you need to put a little more effort into your money into your career into your business and whatever because he feels right here that you are stuck and you don't want to get in a situation that you need to start back over now i do feel as well that some of you are trying to invest in your education and keep in mind that that's a great idea just make sure that you're committed and that's exactly what you want to do now with this said i do see as well that there's a sense of like feeling that you are behind in life compared to other people maybe you compare yourself with other people maybe other people compare you with other people unfortunately but i do feel that like you're not behind in any way you perform you're exactly where you need to be because if you weren't you were in yourself you know you're not behind because if you were behind you were not gonna be the person you want you know what i mean so you are exactly where you need to be for other reasons that we may not even understand today i do see the love that you seek is a connection of approval that you have with your parents or your father or father figures i do feel there's a lot of like trauma connected to your family members especially the father figure perhaps and or figure in general you feel that um I do feel like some of you have been raised that even though that they loved you, they could have been mean and cruel to you. You know when sometimes our, I don't know, familiars or not familiars, but like our our family will be mean to us, but they say, oh no, don't worry, we love you. So I do feel like it created like a subconscious confusion into where you feel rejection or treatment the way they they treat you like this dude or this person equals love because subconsciously in your childhood you could have experienced that and then people were like no i really love you after they were mean or rude or something like that so you subconsciously cost um a reality that you feel like even when they're rude and mean they still love you somehow so you should continue trying uh i am so sorry that you went through that if that resonates but it's time for you to realize that's not how it is somebody who loves you is not gonna treat you poorly or make you feel unwanted 
so with this said they're telling you that that's something that you may need to talk about it with your family members if you could or if you want to if not maybe work with therapy to see if that you know helps you figure it out more now with this said i do feel like you have a lot of love surrounding you and it's time for you to focus on that i feel like it's more about the permanent not just the fun times and i do see that you have a huge potential to be happy and create the reality you want but we need to redirect this thought and that this definitely is a conscious one and to where you think that even though that people are mean you must mean they love you no when people are mean they just don't care for you there is funny play but then this the disrespect so i do feel that you need to work more on your self-love and healing before moving to anything serious I don't know what this means, but this uh, pointing out to Santa Muerte, I don't know what that could be. Also, as well, and I'm not saying I'm connecting with her. I'm saying that it's referencing um, this entity. Again, I, again, I'm not speaking for her. I'm not saying I'm talking to her, and I'm not saying that I work with her. No, that's not what I'm trying to say. I'm just trying to say that some of you may be connected or that might be resonating in any way, shape, or form for you, as well as this could also be a representation of the other muertos in for halloween or so this could be the october month as well that could be represented as that as well but either way my loves um i do see that um i feel that a new wind or fresh air is coming for you very soon as well i do feel that you have very good friends you have a very good person next to you and near you that loves you and cares for you even though you may not talk too much um i feel that when it comes to love it's very unbalanced because i feel like you don't really know what love is i do feel like you're somewhat confused um i do feel as well that you are the key for your own success and i feel that sometimes the rejection could cause you to lose i will say interest or inspiration and it shouldn't be like that when it comes to love the if main focus for that is for you to find self-love so you can actually disconnect from connections that don't deserve your time of day when it comes to money uh, i do see that you have the intentions and if you work please be wise how you spend your money maybe it's time for you to also try other things and if you are trying to invest in your own career or perhaps business or education do it for you and for the right reasons and focus and commit to that um and i want you to know that you should not base your happiness into somebody else's approval even though you say you know even though you say you don't do that you do do that and this is subconsciously and this is something that you don't need to feel worried or embarrassed about it because nobody's freaking perfect and at the end of the day we are human and the point of this is for you to recognize where is the issue ish that is causing this behavior or pattern so you can actually pick it up and pretty much work on that so you can be a better version of yourself it's not for you to criticize yourself it's not for you to be mean to yourself because you need love and you need to start with yourself so with this said uh, it's time for you to release to work on things and to love yourself for who you are and let's start working on the love you really really deserve and how do you know that you need to start loving yourself the same way you expect to be loved by others if you cannot do that how do you expect others to love you like that because keep in mind that people tend to give us what we reflect on in ourselves so let's work on loving yourself the same way you want others to love you and you'll see how much your life and your livelihood in general will shift into a better uh, energy and everything you ever wanted works on your favor so at this point that's what i got for you i know that some people love to hear about boyfriends and girlfriends but you're also important babe especially your self-love okie dokes so we got 1919 for you and this is cycles karma warning judgment influence power cycles change and rebirth karma will be paying you a visit release the need to control because you cannot force things learn your lessons so that they don't repeat the they don't repeat 
in the future make some space for new experiences like i said before now babe this is the end of your reading i hope you liked it please do not forget to like and subscribe you can also follow me outside of youtube and everywhere instagram facebook tiktok spotify uh, you want to check them all out the links are always going to be in the description box below i do also offer personal readings i love you forever and have an amazing day